Hello and welcome back. This is Isaac. Uh, I wanted to show you how to reset your Aspen password on your own. Why? Because you can do it. Here we go. So I'm going to open up my browser and I've already got my name in there. Remember it's all lowercase first name dot last name and when I type in my password And I get this message, this account has been disabled. That means your account is locked. In previous years, you had to contact your ET who would contact me directly, or you'd contact me via email directly. Now, you can use the I forgot my password link. So click on it, type in your login, username, all lowercase, and your primary email. And in this case, it is your Dodea email. Now this is case sensitive, so it must be all lowercase as such. At this point you click continue and this next step is critical. This was set up when you originally logged in, the very first time you logged in. So if you've been on in Aspen for the last two three years and you've never used this, you've probably forgotten it. Um, it's going to be critical that you understand what your answer is, and if you if you for, have forgotten, you're going to have to unfortunately request uh, me to reset your password. However, I'm going to show you what to do next. So I know my answer here. I click submit. An email containing your temporary password has been uh, sent to you. Again, it's going to your Dodea email. I'm going to pull that up and show you what to do next. Here is a copy of the email. This is temporary, so that is okay. I'm going to highlight and copy. I'm not going to write it down. I'm not going to uh, transcribe it. I'm just going to highlight and copy. And to do a quick copy, you can either use your right click and copy or do highlight and then control C. That does a quick copy. This is now my current password. I'm going to paste it in there, which is right click. Uh, paste or control V to paste. Click log on. Okay, so it says it has expired. It reset it. It unlocked my account and this is fantastic. My current password is the temporary one that I received in my email. I'm going to paste that in and now I'm going to use create a new password, click OK. Oh, and I need to make sure that they match. Okay, it's resetting. I'm now in. So from here, you need to go to your set preferences. And I'm going to show you one uh, how to increase the size of your screen. So if you take and hold the control key on your keyboard and use the scroll of the roller ball on your mouse, you can increase the size or decrease the size. A little fun tip there. Uh, I'm going to go to set preferences. Now this is a critical point. You have to go here if you've forgotten that security question. In your set preferences, we're going to go to the security tab. And this is where you're going to find your email. First and foremost, make sure your email address is spelled correctly and is all lowercase. Again, remember when we were resetting, it is case sensitive, so this is important. An alternate email we do not use, I'm not recommending you send it to a personal email. Um, because you cannot access the Aspen from home at this point. Um, so here are your security questions. What are the last four digits of your social security number? There are a list to choose from. Now, by default, I know my last four are not this uh, long, this many characters. Uh, it, it's a security feature here that just throws in a random number of characters. Okay. 
set that. I'm going to do it again. Okay. If you wanted to change your password, you could change your password here at any time. I'm not going to do that now. And click OK. Now, because I tried to change some security information, it's going to ask me to confirm this change with my current password. And I'll save it. Very good. I have just reset my password and I've updated my set preferences. I'm going to log off and that is resetting your password. Now, you give it a try. Have a great day.